Hi, I'm Ganel Strutt from Elliptic Labs, and I'll be showcasing our ultrasound touchless gesture technology. Uh, here we have a gallery application where I can scroll through images without touching the screen. You'll see that the motion of the screen follows my hand carefully. It's a very natural, smooth experience. I don't need to know that there is a sensor. I can do the gesture all the way around the screen at 180 degrees. On this platform, you have four microphones and two transducers. The transducers send an ultrasound wave and it's picked up, reflected over the fingers and sent back to the microphones. So we use our mobile devices to watch movies a lot these days. And uh, one thing that I always find difficult uh, is that I have to touch the screen every time I want to interact with uh, the content. Let's say if I want to uh, fast forward or see what I'm watching. And here, all I have to do is approach the screen. There's no gesture that can be made more intuitive this, than this. If I want to interact with the screen, all I need to do is approach. And content developers have been spending a lot of energy hiding these buttons from the screen. And there's lots of techniques like scrolling and tapping that allow these buttons to appear and disappear. And here, all I need to do is approach and move away. So I, like many others, spend a lot of time tapping my screen and pressing buttons to see if I got messages. And here, all I need to do is approach my device. It comes to life, gives me my notifications. You can see that the screen appears very slowly and gradually as the device picks up the echo from my hand. And it is this very smooth experience that uh, makes this really unique. As I get closer to the screen, we'll get the buttons again, like we had on the video player. And this basically brings the right content based on the position of the hand relative to the device. If I'm really close, I want to touch the screen, I'll show the buttons. If I'm close to the screen, but not that close, I want to see my content. And then when I'm away, I just want to save battery and turn the screen. We also support discrete gestures like double tap. In this gesture, I perform a double tap and it turns the screen on and off. It could be anything. It could be to take a selfie or open your task switcher or your favorite application. The beauty about uh, what we're showing here is that there's a real-time indicator that follows the position of my hand. And it tells me indirectly how much motion I need to make. Right? I don't know when I do these large discrete gestures whether I need to make it smaller or I need to make it faster. Here, it tells me when I've done each part of the gesture. It tells me which direction I need to go in. So since we're able to detect the position of the hand with millimeter precision in the Z-axis, we can show different layers of content as the hand approaches. Here, I've got two layers of notifications. And as I get even closer to the screen, I have the buttons that I need to unlock the screen. As I move back, I go back into the notifications layer, the other layer. I go in and out. So I can really show things that are meaningful relative to the distance of the hand to the screen. So this is something that we do a lot in our vehicles. We, we watch the map and we want to know what are, the, what are the next turns. And it would be wonderful if we could just approach the hand, see, oh, my next turn is right on spear, and then go back to looking at the map. So this is also something for devices that we put in a car and use as uh, GPS trackers and uh, giving us directions, this would be something that would be really useful. And you don't have to be as precise as actually pressing the button on the screen. No, no. You, you keep your eyes on the road. Yes. And just move your hand over. Yeah, we've got the wide field of view, so you can approach you know, from any direction. You can be pretty far. Uh, from the device and this would appear. It's got a really long range. Ultrasound has the, the ability to pick up signals um, you know, tens of inches from the screen. So here we make it appear at about five, six inches, but it could be two feet away and we could have it uh, detect motion. In fact, when, when you were approaching with the camera, you could see that it was already picking up your, your, your position. And here's our signature touchless gestures game, Octopush. So all you have to do is calmly and quietly push the octopus up and down, grab the little sea stars, 
and avoid the plastic bags. And of course, don't throw plastic bags in the ocean. That's very mean to octopodes. So this is a take on, on a famous series of games where you have to push an object up and down with your hand. And this is the one where if you push harder, it goes up faster. If you go slowly, you can push the octopus slowly upwards. So this is a very relaxing game that's more focused on gentle motions and the precision of the, the hand motion and its velocity, not so much its position in the air. There we go. And I just need to push harder for the octopus to go to the surface.